In this illustration, we intend to simulate the process of laser bending in the Abacus software. In this simulation, the effect of laser power and the laser beam speed, as well as the radius of laser beam on bending angle, will be investigated. In this question, the subroutine deflux has been utilized in order to define the moving of heat source. Actually, we intend to simulate the article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Investigation on Laser Forming of Stainless Steel Sheets Under Coupling Mechanism. In this table, you can observe different states of simulation of the laser bending process. And in each one of these states, the laser power and laser beam speed will be changed. An angle of bending is calculated accordingly. In this picture, the geometric shape of plate can be observed. The length of this plate is 96 millimeters, its width is 30 millimeters, and it has a thickness of 1.5 millimeters. You can observe the mechanical properties of plate in this table. In this table, the thermal properties of plate can be observed. Also, in this diagram, the angle of bending for different states of laser bending process has been drawn. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on Create Part. Here, I intend to create geometric shape of plate. I will select 3D, Deformable, Solid and Extrusion, Enter the rough size of the tracing page equal to 0.5 and continue. I'll draw a rectangle. As you observe in the article, the length of the plate is 96 millimeters, its width is 30 millimeters, and its thickness is equal to 1.5 millimeters. done and here I'll enter the width of plate equal to 30 millimeters in this manner click on create interaction here select surface film condition and continue I will select all surfaces of the plate except this one done as mentioned in the article convection coefficient is equal to 9 and the ambient temperature is equal to 293 Kelvin and OK. Again, I will click on Create Interaction, select Surface Radiation and continue. I will select all the surfaces except this surface. As explained in the article, emissivity is equal to 
16 and the ambient temperature is equal to 293 Kelvin and OK. In the next step, we should define the moving of heat source using the flux subroutine. In this picture, the intensity of laser beam has been displayed. Actually, the intensity of laser has been described based on radius distance from the laser center relative to the radius of laser beam. We should define the intensity of laser beam in different ranges. Continue. Here we should attach the subroutine file to the Abacus software. I will enter its name here. OK. OK, and click on Submit. Here you can observe the bending angle Here we intend to calculate the quantity of bending angle. Actually, we intend to calculate this angle. To do so, 
we can utilize tangent theta formula First, I intend, I need to calculate the vertical displacement of the sheet. To do so, I will click on Create XPy Data, select ODB Field Output, and Continue. Then I will select Unique Nodal. Then I select Vertical Displacement, or the same U2. Then select this node, and click on Save. As you observe, the maximum of vertical displacement is equal to 1.94 millimeters. As previously mentioned, we can use tangent theta formula in order to calculate the quantity of bending angle. Here the bending angle is equal to 2.3 degrees. I will note the bending angle and write that as 2.3 degrees. In the next step, to do the bending process for the Fourier number 1.4, the laser beam velocity would be equal to 0.448 meters per minute, and the power would be equal to 700 watts. Here, we should attach the subroutine file related to this question to the Abacus software. Then I'll click on Submit. The analysis was done successfully, so I will click on Result.
the model you observe here is related to the Fourier number 1.4 in which the diameter of laser beam is equal to 6 millimeters the velocity is equal to 0.448 meters per minute and the power is equal to 700 watts here we intend to calculate the quantity of bending angle Here the height is equal to 1.63 millimeters and we can use this formula in order to calculate the quantity of bending angle. The bending angle is equal to 1.9894 degrees, so I will enter this number here. In the next step, we intend to solve this question for the Fourier number 1.9 in which the diameter of laser beam is equal to 6 millimeters. The velocity is equal to 0.336 meters per minute and the power is equal to 600 watts. Here I should select the related subroutine file. The analysis was done successfully, so I will click on result. This model is related to the Fourier number 1.9 in which the diameter of laser beam is equal to 6 millimeters. The power is 600 watts and the velocity is equal to 0.336 meters per minute. Here we intend to calculate the bending angle for the Fourier number 
nine The bending angle is equal to 1.7 degrees.
Here the horizontal axis is Fourier number. The vertical axis is the bending angle, that unit of which is degree. The diagram having been marked out with blue color is related to isotropic hardening. And the diagram distinguished with red is related to kinematic hardening. And as you observe, the results gained from the abacus software have a good conformity with those extracted from the article. And the results from the abacus software are so close to those mentioned in the article. Actually, in order to draw this diagram, you'll certainly need to perform the laser bending process eight times. Four times are related to isotropic hardening, and the other four times are related to kinematic hardening. On the whole, you should do this analysis eight times. As mentioned in the article, the diameter of laser beam is equal to 6 millimeters, or the same 0 0.006 meters. Actually, the diameter of this circle is equal to 6 millimeters. As you observe, the diameter of this circle is, is equal to 6 millimeters, that is equal to the same diameter of laser beam.